we move forward. Yesterday's game was the first game where head coach Frank Reich was in control of play calling after taking back the duties from offensive coordinator Thomas Brown. Joining us, Amanda Ferguson here. Okay, the big question right now is that, you know, Brown was in charge of what? The play for a little bit and they won. Is that right? One game, but One then game. lost a bunch of others, but yeah. Mm. What are your thoughts? Okay, so this just shows me that the organization has no idea what they're doing right now. And so for Frank to take back the play calling, I think it's just, it shows that you don't have faith in the guy that you chose to call the plays. Yeah. So I think they're just a mess right now. <laughs> it is, and the reason I think that too is because it's so quick. They just give the offensive coordinator the reins, two games or three, give it yeah. back to Frank. It's almost like they're str they're struggling to find an it answer. It wasn't working, and then with Frank Reich calling the plays, then you have Thomas Brown calling the plays, that wasn't working, so then you say, okay, let's go back to Frank Reich calling the plays. Like, it's somehow gonna be better. And you were we at, wish. And you were at last game, right? Yeah. How was the energy out there, just on the sidelines, the fans? I mean, what was it like out oh, there? You know what, it eerily reminded me of the 49ers game after Matt Rule got fired, mm -hmm. because it was all Dallas Cowboys fans, and to mm -hmm. their credit, well, Dallas travel. fans travel yeah. well. Yeah, it's do. America's team for a reason. So <laughs> no matter where you go at stadium, it's going to be full of da Dallas Cowboy fans. But it was just, it's sad to hear that Bryce it's Young sad. gets sacked and then you hear a bunch of cheers mm -hmm. oh. inside of Bank of America yeah, Stadium. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Amanda, so, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's something that might cheer up some fans. Since we are the official home of the Carolina Panthers, we are giving away two tickets to a game next month, plus a swag pack of goodies. All you have to do is answer a couple of trivia questions on our website. You can enter as many times as you want, and you don't even need to be right. This is our last giveaway of the year. Trivia closes Friday at 3 p.m.